just got here this morning. Three bucks, two bags, one me. Give you fair warning up there in lights. I'll be. Imagine being 12 years old and coming up on the Amtrak train from Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, where Lori came from and where I was born and raised as well. And arriving in New York for your first day of rehearsals to play the title character in a new Broadway musical about a little girl with no eyeballs. <laughs> and I got off the elevator of the Broadway Arts Building, and I heard this voice, and I just instinctively followed this voice into the room, and when I saw the face that was connected with the voice, it was Lori Beachman. <clears throat> and um, I'll never forget the tremendous impact that she had, and the minute I heard her voice, I said, Barbara who? <clears throat> and um, I will forever remember um, Lori's tremendous gift, and that was God-given. And she was raised in a family that nurtured a true artist. And lots of times would go by, well, a lot of time would pass, and Lori and I wouldn't talk because of busy schedules. But Lori and I never talked about anything up here on the stage. We talked about reality, and um, her husband, Neil, and I was a child, but one day I woke up, and we were both women, and we were both peers, and um, I love you, Lori, and I'll miss you so much, but your voice and your soul will live on for all of us for many generations. NYC Tomorrow a penthouse That's way up high Tonight The why Why not? It's in.